Hello, it's all about the Galaxy Beam and uh, today I want to talk about something which is extremely annoying sometimes and that is bricking your phone. In my case the Samsung Galaxy Beam projector smartphone. Uh, I'm going to show you solutions for unbricking and that will be the USB jig and I'm going to talk a bit more about uh, bricking itself and the different types of bricks. So um, let's start with soft brick. Soft brick means that uh, you are stuck in a boot loop that means the phone keeps on restarting after you flash the ROM and you just don't get out of it. Um, it can mean that you are stuck on boot animation, that's the animation that comes up here once um, you flash the ROM, for example. Um, and um, you can get sometimes a picture which is similar to that one, which is this one here. That means you have soft bricked your phone. So what are the reasons? Um, it can be that the flashing process is interrupted or unfinished. Uh, it can, you can, or for, you had um, two less battery power left. That's why I always say it's important if you flash something on the phone to always have enough battery power left. Um, you unplug the cable that you connected uh, between your phone and the uh, computer um, before the installation was finished or the file or ROM had errors or was corrupted and or, or you did a dirty flash which means you only cleaned the cage and delvey cage um, instead of doing a clean flash which means uh, you do a factory reset that's why I say it's always important in my videos to do a um, clean flash that means that you always do the factory reset before you flash anything um, what is heartbreak? different, that's the other type uh, if the phone doesn't boot at all anymore or the screen is totally black like here for example. Um, what are the reasons for hard bricks? Uh, the reasons are if you flashed wrong ROMs or kernels, uh, incom incom incompatible kernels for example um, or it can be one of the reasons that I mentioned in soft brick already. So uh, what can you do when the phone is bricked? You can go into recovery mode for example um, if you press the power, the power button, the volume up and the home button at the same time when the phone is off and uh, there you uh, choose a clear cage in the beginning if that doesn't work uh, you would choose factory reset and uh, if that does not help you have to go into download mode which is again power, the home button and the volume down for download and uh, there uh, you connect it with the you know, USB cable uh, to your laptop and you would flash via Odin another ROM for example. So uh, if that doesn't work, if, you, if those two doesn't, don't work, then you can try the method with the USB jig, this one here. What is a USB jig? It is a micro USB plug so it just looks like a normal uh, micro USB plug which has a resistor inside there. Let me show you, let me enlighten you, maybe you see it. You see that small resistor in there? No. So, um, you can make one yourself, uh, I might do a video for that at one point, um, or you buy one, which I did. I uh, will put a link into the description. The price was around three dollars, so nothing, and it's a 301k um, USB jig. Uh, all 301ks should work for the Samsung Galaxy Beam. Um, so um, if uh, this one is so loud, which I think at the moment it is, uh, you can buy any other, or I think they should work, which have 301k. So what does it do? It's supposed to remove the yellow triangle while uh, flashing something the one that you sometimes get and it's supposed to reset the binary counter the flash counter uh, the flash counter uh, to reset that it didn't work for me but uh, if I would need to do it at one point I would just use the app triangle away I can give you a link into the description if you want and uh, the other thing which it does the other glorious thing basically which I'm going to talk about today is it puts the phone into download mode so um, you can flash new ROMs so let's say stock jelly bean or gingerbread onto the phone. How do we do it? So you turn off the phone. Well, basically, I will turn it off now. I mean, my phone is not bricked, but I'm just showing you. By the way, this method 
should work. The USB chick method should work for uh, soft bricks, and I also saw people which managed to which managed hard bricks like that as well. So just give it a try. Um, so I'm going to turn off my phone now. We just assume your phone is bricked. So obviously you don't need to do that, but um, if you stuck on boot loop, then anyway you need to turn off the phone. So let's do that. Then I'm going to take out the battery. I'm going to take it out for like you sh could take it out for 30 seconds. Um, why 30 seconds? Because uh, the electric flow between the phone and the battery cuts off after that. Um, I'm not going to leave it for 30 seconds, I just put it back in. Might I can leave that actually. And I turn, sorry, no. Um, after that, you just plug in the USB jig into the phone. And you see we are successfully in download mode. That's what we wanted. Um, so now you can uh, flash any ROM you want, gingerbread, jelly bean or any other ROM to your phone. Uh, if that doesn't work, uh, so if you don't uh, see the, the image here, the logo, then what you can try, you take the battery out, again for like, like 30 seconds, and uh, you plug the USB chick into the phone, and you leave it there for 30 seconds, and uh, then you connect the normal cable that you use for flashing as well, the Samsung cable. So we assume this is black, it doesn't work, so you pl plug it in for 30 seconds and uh, then you plug it out. And uh, you just then plug the normal Samsung cable here, you connect it to your laptop computer which has Odin on the other side running and you just flash it there. So you should see if you see the yellow uh, COM sign on the top or the blue sign, that means uh, it recognizes download mode even though you don't see the image here and you can still then flash uh, the ROM you want. Okay, um, I hope it worked for you. Uh, please leave some feedback. Uh, if you want to support my future projects, you can, you can donate in the link in the description. Uh, follow me on Facebook or Twitter to check my newest projects. I thank you very much for watching and have a great day.